Hey everybody, this is Francis from Nerd Rules the World, and I'm here to, to do a review on a movie called Yellow Rose. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, this is Francis. I am here reviewing the movie for Nerds Rule the World called Yellow Rose, made by, um, uh, di directed by Diane Paragas, executive producer Karen, Karen El El Elizanga, Carlo Katigbak, Juan Miguel Sevilla, Olivia de Jesus, and John D. Lazatin. And this is a story about a Filipino teen who must decide whether or not to stay with her family or leave her small Texas town to become a country music singer. So first of all, um, you know, the movie definitely has some heart. Okay, it is, it is it really, it's a story about this mother and daughter, this uh, single mother and daughter who are just trying to kind of make a good life for themselves here in the United States. Now, you know, this, this movie was definitely set in a more, com uh, more current uh, setting. And it was definitely, so with all the things that are happening with, with, within the United States as far as immigration, um, it's definitely been, a, it's definitely a story that needed to be told. Now, m unfortunately, most of the time when we're talking about immigration, we're always talking about our Latino brothers and sisters, but there are so many other people that are affected by this, including the Filipino American community. And in this particular, this is that story of that. Uh, and then, you know, basically, you know, people are just trying to get here so that they can have a better life for themselves and just get a better life for their children. And this is what their mother did, uh, but paid, uh, played by the actress P Princess Punzalan. She played uh, Priscilla Garcia. She was, um, she worked in a motel somewhere in Texas. And you know, she just cleans up the room. She's the maid in the, in, the, in the room. But then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the one time she allows her daughter to go to, to Austin with a boy, uh, actor by the name of Liam Booth, uh, he played Elliot Biatnik. Um, they decided to go to Austin, and then on the way they came back, the hotel was raided. And, um, and then the mom was, of course, arrest, detained by ICE, while you know, uh, the, the, her daughter, uh, played by Eva Noblezada, or, and she plays the character Rose Garcia, she was, you know, she was able to get away from, from, from uh, getting uh, caught by ICE. So now while she was doing that, you know, she, she's now trying to find a place in this world. She has to make a decision. Should she go back with her mother to the Philippines and maybe come back in 10 years or continue to pursue, pursue her dream of becoming a country music singer? Now, first of all, again, uh, country music and Filipinos don't automatically go hand in hand. But I'll tell you right, right now, that this guy's a country music fan. I, I wasn't always a country music fan, but as of lately, I definitely started liking more country music. More, probably more of the pop culture ones, but definitely, definitely understanding the love and the passion that country music has, and that's what Ava has. Ava, of course, this young Filipino teen, 17 years old, setting in this movie, that she, you know, now she has to find her way in this, in this world. <clears throat> her mom being deported, um, to the Philippines, she now has to find a way to 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 thrive and, and, and do well in this in this country. Now, the 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 one famous actor is uh, attached to this will be Lea Salonga. She plays her Tita Gale or her Auntie Gale. Apparently, she is Priscilla's uh, sister. Now, on, somewhere in the, in that story, they the sisters kind of uh, drew uh, kind of split apart as far as you know their lives together, but they haven't even seen, they haven't seen each other apparently this whole time while uh, uh, Priscilla and Rose were here in the United States. But when, when, when uh, Priscilla was deported, her, her instructions to her daughter was to go to her Tita Gail, Auntie Gail, again played by Lea Salonga. Now, here's the one thing that kind of broke my heart a little bit, and, and I don't know, I mean, I, I, I've never been married, so I can't really speak in authority of this, but to me, family's family. Okay, if you are, if I married somebody and that person, whoever that person's family is, well, they're not my family. Okay, that's just the way it works. There's, there's not, no, that's not, that's not my niece. That's your niece. No, that's my niece also. Okay, so apparently when, when Ava, or I'm sorry, Rose Garcia um, went to her Tita Gail, she asked her, she asked her Tita Gail if she could stay with her. And her response was, I have to ask my husband's permission. <sighs> misogynistic much okay so now i i don't know i'm pretty sure that that was done intentionally by the writers of this uh of this movie and and if that's the case yeah that is one of the issues that they have that you know this was kind of very counterinducive to what filipinos really are filipinos of course blood is thicker than water if, if my if my relatives is in trouble i'm gonna go do everything in my power to help them right 
help them get, I mean, in this particular case, when it comes to immigration, help them get a lawyer, help them get a work permit so that they can stay here permanently. In this particular case, they could have probably adopted a, uh, a Rose so that she could have stayed in this country, but her husband, uh, Gail's husband, was just not having it. We already have one daughter. And I'm like, that's your daughter's cousin. And that's your, your, nie your, your wife's kid. And then G Gail just kind of capitulated. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I've known a lot of, of Filipino women and they don't no, normally capitulate that easily. Uh, but the people that was helping her were these people who live in, you know, the, the, the Texans that were there, right? One of the, um, char one of the characters that I, that I, that I, I, I fell in, in love with was, um, Jolene. She was this, this, uh, dance hall owner and that just picked her up from, from, from Gail's house, you know, and she doesn't know her. She, she that's not her blood. Or if anything, that's not her kin. But she picked her up and, and took her to her place, gave her a room to stay, a roof over her head, and gave her some food. To me, G Jolene was more Filipino than Tita Gale. Just, I, I know, I said it. I said it, okay? But now, but of course, then Ice raided uh, the, the dance hall, and now Rose can no longer stay with, 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 uh, with Jolene, and now she had to go look for another place where she then, she then moves in to uh, Dale Watson, you know, this uh, country music legend. And, you know, that's where she kind of hangs out for a while. And that's where she started really developing her country music chops. And, oh, my goodness, can this girl write songs? And can this girl uh, sing as well? So, basically, you know that's the saying about the country music, three chords and the truth, right? And this is absolutely her truth. And Dale Watson, you know, you helped her develop her voice and her truth and at the end of the movie, we see her finally, you know, performing her, her song. And, oh my goodness, it was absolutely beautiful. Now, the title Yellow Rose is a derogatory comment, a uh, derogatory name that was given to her when she was singing in a, like a school talent show. And because her name was Rose and because she's Filipino slash Asian, they started calling her Yellow Rose, and which is totally messed up. But, but gay, I mean, Rose Garcia played by Ava Noblezada, was an amazing, amazing singer, amazing, amazing uh, actor. And I definitely felt her, her story and her, and her strength and, and, you know, her commitment. Now, a little, I, I mean, I probably should have said spoiler alert through the beginning of this whole movie, but this whole movie basically is now her trying to find her way to, to, to stay in the United States to do her thing and, and to be able to realize the dream of her becoming a country music star. And honestly, when, you know, when the mom and daughter were separated, the mom, you know, um, uh, Pr Priscilla Gar Garcia moves, got, was sent back to the Philippines. Now it's the mother and daughter are separated. And for, for Rose to survive, she then becomes a hotel maid. But she did not stop her dream. She knew that her mother's sacrifice and her sacrifice for being away from her mother has to come out, amount to something. And it has to amount to something. And it amounted to her finally realizing her dream that she is a country music singer and future star. This movie has a lot of heart, okay? So, you know, one thing about when these small, these small movies is that you know that it's about storytelling. It's not about the high-tech, you know, um, CGI's or all the special big-name actors. It is a story, it is a story, and it has a lot of heart. And I will warn you all right now, you better bring some tissues because this movie really really hits the you know the ticker here and i i wasn't crying my eyes are sweating though but yes it's it's a great movie the acting was wonderful was great even i mean leah salonga the you know philippine darling she played tita gale I, I mean you know of course she's a wonderful person i'm assuming i've never met her but she seems like a wonderful person but she definitely made me not like tita gale the character because she definitely turned her back on her own kin and it, it took other strangers and non-filipinos but again, Jolene and Dale to actually show her more of, of, you know, like she's more kin than they are. And this is something that's synonymous to the Filipinos. And Tita Gale just turned her back on it because, I don't know, she capitulated to her husband. Uh, uh, her uh, Rose's mom, Priscilla, wonderful, wonderful actor, did a phenomenal, phenomenal job in this movie. Uh, I could see her pain. I could see her struggle. I could feel it every single other way. And, and of course, uh, Jolene. This, she's like she's like the god fairy godmother of this movie. She just was, went in there and saved, uh, you know, and then helped uh, Rose get out of the situation at least for the sh for the short time, and then gave her a path to 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 thrive here in the United States. And of course, we can't we can't I can't not talk about Dale Watson, you know, country music legend, 
um, just did a phenomenal job just mentoring her and fostering her and gave her even this beautiful, beautiful guitar so that she could continue writing her song. And he, and I think honestly, when, when, when Rose asked her to, to co-sign for her and then, and, um, Dale, Dale Watson said, no, it's, you know, it's, it's nothing, you know, I think he did his very best. He the best that he could and the best that he can. And he gave her the opportunity to, to cut a demo in his own studio and then to perform with him. And just to kind of see that she is somebody that belongs on stage. And last, and, and of course, definitely not least, Rose Garcia, played by Eva Noblezada. Girl, this girl can act. Oh my goodness. I, you know, there was a lot of shots that were very close up. So when, when you do a close up shot like this, you know, there's a lot of, um, you, you, you can't hide a lot of emotions. You got to be able to, to, to emote that through the camera. And this girl, she is a natural born storyteller. And of course she's Filipina. That means she can sing. Um, you know, she's a wonderful singer. And I think that was really her playing the guitar. So I must, and she did a really great job for that one. And of course, you know, I think that this movie really, really, really hit home. And it really is very relevant, re relevant to to what's happening in this world today. I definitely give this movie the highest possible recommendation. If you have a chance to go watch it, I definitely suggest you go watch it and and enjoy the movie and show it with your family. This could be a kind of movie that I mean, this is definitely a family movie. If you are if you have young kids, especially if they're Filipino Americans, you can talk about this kind of stuff. These are some of the struggles our fellow brothers and sisters. From, uh, that immigrated here, uh, that are undocumented here in the, in the U.S. These are some of the struggles that they go to, and that they're just—they're not trying to take anybody's job. They're just trying to be here. They're just trying to be here and and just provide for themselves and for their family. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So I definitely recommend this. This is a very very family friendly movie, but it does definitely tackle uh, some real real world issues. I don't know. Do you guys agree? Have you seen uh, Yellow Rose? Do you guys agree with what I'm saying about this movie? Comment down below. And please, if you're liking this, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button so you are aware of the latest reviews that we're doing here at Nerds Rule the World. Until then, my name is Francis, big boy Screamador. Until next time, peace out, God bless, and keep watching them movies.